Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to take a look at a massive update that's happened on the DroneX website. And it's not new functionality, but it's actually new ownership. Without further ado, let's get started. So, some of you guys might have joined or logged onto the DroneX website and found that it looks different than what is in my videos that I've shown you guys previously. And that is because the whole site has got a nice big nice revamp and it's also under new ownership so if you take a look at the site it's actually quite nice it's very easy to follow all the links that you need is straight in front of you and it gives you clear indication of what is available and what you can do so for instance you can do free parameter editing on certain model drones you can do the remo remove no-fly zones altitude removal and items like that and especially if you want to flash your firmware one of the biggest things that i've been pushing for years is to not use dji assistant 2 but rather use the dronex application because you you can download the file offline and then flash without even having any issues with regards to uh, maybe a failed internet connection or something like that but if you scroll down there's a nice little setup video that shows you how the whole process works and at the bottom of the page you have some guidance as to how to work so you also have a nice little place what available hacks there are that's the, the original bird map for instance and you've got your frequently asked questions and hacks explained and your pc client so you can see that the links at the bottom of the page are very similar to the ones that are at the top of the page so in this case tutorials uh, frequently asked questions would be this section over here and your available hacks would be you, you can see the options that are explained over here as well but the um, bird map essentially has now become available maps so if i click on a, a available hacks you can to see that a very similar window has now popped up that we are used to on the old drone hacks website and if i go and select for instance the mini 2 you can to see that it shows what options are available so we in most cases people are not going to be worried about the root shell or adb they just want to remove the no-fly zones and it's going to show you what firmware versions are available and it also tells you that you are able to downgrade from a certain version down to a lower version in this case the version that's recommended is the same as the other one but if we jump over to an a 2 s for instance you're going to see that the recommended version is different from the latest version so if you are on this version you are able to downgrade to a lower version if you are on a firmware version that's not supported then obviously then this whole thing is not going to work so then please do not purchase a license you can see that it's a 40 euro license the exact same price it's always been so nothing has really changed for the end user especially the website has got a nice night a new update as well as uh, functionality have changes so it's just easier to navigate through the process i think the previous site might have been slightly difficult sometimes to for new users to understand this is quite clear and it tells you exactly what's going on you can also jump over to the tutorials frequently asked questions tab you can see they got a nice big wiki page that is essentially going to have a lot of the questions that you've got answers for so a good example would be there's a tutorial for fcc power for those of you guys that are not in the us and you want to get more range this explains the process quite nicely it shows you how the process works and at the end it shows you that you've got for instance your signal hacking etc enabled you can go then to the testing page and you can see that it's quite well put out so a lot of information that you've or questions that you guys would have had previously would now be very simple in the actual page over here now you can also go and check if your ce power or fcc mode has been enabled you just click on the check fcc ce power and then it explains it quite well for you as well for those of you guys that have enabled the mod and didn't know that it was successful this is a nice easy way for you to go to check as well so all in all, a fantastic job that the Dronex guys have done with this new update. Now, let's just quickly go back to the process. It's still the exact same search. Dronex and Google, you're going to get drone hacks at the top. And you're going to click on whatever link you want to go to. For instance, the main page. And it'll take you to the main page where you can go to. Now, there's a new drone hacks version that you can download. So the latest client, the latest version is the best one to use because it will encompass all of the changes, all of the features that has now been put available. So just a quick little update to what has happened. So if we go to the wiki page, 
the help page, for instance, you're going to see there's a nice little page that explains the whole thing. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to go and take your time to go through this as well, or you can just pause and read through the video as well. I'll scroll down to just summarize most of the information for you. So essentially, drone hacks has been taken has, has been uh, under new ownership. That's a better way to say it. And essentially, the a group of people have now been added to the team, and some people that have just decided to call it quits and leave um, has now moved away. So, for instance, Fly Lucid is now the new owner or the new company, and essentially the same process, the same guys that you guys have used to, like Quad88, CS2000, those guys that have been very active in the support, and they've always been there, they are still there. So the main thing is, is that you have your master plan, basically just go through the section over here, that explains what they want. So essentially, the the plan is still to give you guys the best product possible to release your drone or essentially unlock your drones in the future, and they will still actively work on drones like... Uh, the A2S, the Mavic 3, and they'll try and obviously try and see if they can get some other models like the new DJI models out as well. But I can't say which versions because obviously they are still trying to crack the firmware of those versions. Now, here's the plan. So what do we have to do? This is now a new system. Okay, so essentially DroneX is still DroneX, but it is under new ownership. And therefore it's a new website, new accounts, stuff like that. So what do we want to do? We want to make sure that everyone has logged and created a new account on this drone hacks website. Now remember, you still have your drone hacks account of old. That's perfectly fine. Just go and create an account with the same email address on drone hacks. So for example, if I go to the drone hacks page, and I go to log in, the exact same details that I had on my drone hacks account, my original drone hacks, think awesome drone hacks account. I'm going to try and most well, I'll I would be honest, I'll just use my same account details and then I'll just log in over here. If you can't remember it, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just create one with the same email address. It's very important that you use the same email address because once you've logged in, you're gonna log into the site. It's still the same site, everything's still the same. However, in your profile section on the top right, this is very important, you will have an option to migrate your old data. Now, I've got lots of DroneX licenses on my account because I've been doing this for years. So if I click on migrate old data, it'll take me to the old DroneX site, essentially. And over the bottom of the page, you can see that I can log in with my old DroneX details over here, and I will be able to migrate my information over so if you click on this link over here because I still remember my password and my details I can log in if I can't remember it obviously I can just use forget your password option and you can just reset it now um, as you can see I've logged in I've got lots of licenses on my account so as you're gonna do you're just gonna scroll down to the bottom <laughs> I've got lots of licenses as you can see um, and then you're just gonna click confirm and submit license data I'm just gonna do this again I've already done this but you can do it multiple times it's not gonna be a problem but if you click on it it is essentially just gonna tell you your data was transferred successfully and that is it all of your data has now been moved over to the new drone hack server essentially and you can now close this page this is not necessary anymore anymore and you can now log on to your drone hacks website let me just quick go to drone hacks again where's this one and you can just go to your main page again and obviously you're now logged into this platform and all of your licenses are now linked to this new account now why are we doing this it's important that you do this because by december essentially they are going to shut down the old DroneX website, meaning that the old owners aren't going to be part of it anymore, their servers are not going to be used anymore, and everything will be on the new one. So what does that mean for you as a user? Well, if you have a drone that is already hacked, and you're happy with it, and you're fine, and you don't have to do anything, that's 100% fine. You don't need to change anything. However, if, for instance, you want to, let's say you accidentally updated the firmware and you need to redo the mod on your drone and you didn't log in and create or migrate your data over before December, well, then you're going to have a problem. Okay, then you're not going to be able to log in and have access to those serials numbers. So essentially, this is a public service announcement. We need you to log in um, to your old DroneX account and then migrate your data over. So essentially, go to this DroneX website create a new account with your old email address 
migrate your data over and then in the case in the future you've accidentally updated the firmware on your drone then you will still be able to update it to the next version or load mods and hacks again if needed so just to summarize nothing has changed drone x is still a drone x you still have a great team that's going to do all of the wonderful things that you wanted to do but we just need you to go and create a new account on the new platform with your original email address and then migrate your data over from the old drone x account to the new one this is just because it's new ownership new servers and obviously new functionality will be added in the future so if you guys have any questions please pop it in the uh, comments below um, i'll try my absolute best to help everyone out but the main plan here is is to get everyone migrated over to the new drone x site and then obviously get the benefit of everything that's possibly going to come up in the future if you guys like what i'm doing please consider to click on the links below there's some affiliate links there like subscribe as well as comment below and i'll try and answer all of the questions that i always do see you guys on the next one